Hi, it's Steve from Custom Table Tennis and we're going to just compare the uh, Double Happiness 6002 6 star bat and should you buy this? I mean we've seen it from in the UK up 60 between 60 and 90 pounds should you buy it? Let's have a look. Let's do an unboxing. See what you get. So so that looks like you're gonna get a case which let's do it properly let's just have a look at the case that you're gonna get with it so it's a little bit better than the other case that we showed you before it's not really gonna protect it that much um, but that's your case um, ooh that feels a little bit on the weighty side so before I weigh it um we'll have some closer look up in a minute this is the uh i think it's the first one that uh it's the sponsored version or let's just say um you've got marlin on there one of the world's top players if not world number one i don't know if he still is but it's a sponsored bat um rigidity ah in fact we can see I probably can't pick it up but there's movement there so yeah I, I'm not sure if the camera's picking up there's, it's quite rigid but there's a bit of movement um, <clears throat> edging tape yes yeah, it's, it's okay so it's, okay. it's a bit shiny but it's sort of it's on so we've seen these for lots and lots of money um, one of the concern for me before I even put it on the scales is the weight so let's just have a look at the weight. So your weight needs to be between, if you want something very, very light, you're looking at 150 to 160. Ordinarily with proper blade, proper rubbers, you're looking at 175 to 190. So what we got, that I'm afraid is ridiculous. It's a little bit too heavy for modern table tennis we know these are uh, these come up on the one of the top selling bats in the world, but it's just a little bit heavy. Um, and I'm and you know what? Because we're not going to sell them, people think I'm nuts. I'm just going to see if the rubbers will come off. But the blade is is not of a high quality. The finishing round there, it's a bit little bit, and there's already there's already movement there. We can see where the glue's not finished, but I'm going to pull it to bits. So let's have a look. So we had a little interruption there, so I had to just pause while we had a knock on the door. Um, I am going to actually try and get these rubbers off. One of the things is on this particular one at the moment, you've got Hurricane 8 on one side, which seems absolutely fine. There's going to be some weight to it. And then on the other side, we've got Tinark, which doesn't make a great deal of sense. I, I, I would have said if he was going to make a bat like this and charge in excess of 60, 70 pounds, whatever, um, you would want Hurricane 3 Neos on here. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, got the man himself on there, and I am going to pull it to bits. Or not. The first thing is for a high, for a bat of this price, you'd want. I can't get it off without. I'm going to have to add it. If I'm going to get that off, it's not going to peel off. I'm going to need a scraper. So I can't actually get all the rubbers off to weigh the blade itself. But I would imagine. Let's have a look on the other side. That's even worse. I can't get it started. In fact, I've ripped that. So it's a lot of money for a throwaway problem with this is once the rubbers have come off if anybody's got the patient and then you'll need to seal that problem with this bat is it probably the blade is 110 grams if not more so it's too heavy anyway and then your rubbers aren't going to play uh, very nicely so um, sorry double happiness on this one and I know it's a it's a massive seller um, but if you're learning to play the game and you've got a bat of this weight it's a little bit ridiculous and it's a it's expensive for something that is going to be a throwaway so 
um, let's have a look at our similar price point then um, well first of all let's have a look at our blade so you don't get all the packaging you're not going to get a free case but you're going to get uh, Hinoki carbon premium Hinoki carbon let's have a look we've done all these reviews before but I was looking for something similar now we've got sponsored players county players um, using Hinoki carbon blades I'm not going to go listing them all but we've got top top players using this um, and we know the rubbers are going to come off you get the card with it so you can buy the blade um, I'll bob that out of the way or the actual bat so what happens so you can see the weight of the bat in fact that'll probably be a bit lighter when we take these plastic things or in fact because we can and it's our own product I will bet you anything you like that these rubbers will come off and I know I've did another one but these reviews are around for a long time and I know that these rubbers are going to come off so we use a particular glue these aren't made in a factory so let's have a look Hinoki Carbon Premium that's how you should be able to take your rubbers off you should be able to get them from the side pull them off and then let's have a look at the blade so the weight of that one or well the rubbers went on 82.5 so you're not getting an inferior blade just because you buy the whole bat if you're used to buying a table tennis bat and throwing it away get something where you can use the blade over and over again and then if need be what you do is you buy another one and then you can send it back and get it re-rubbered and we will try and find you the one the one with the same weight but that's come off clean i don't even have to rub any of the glue off there so that's where we are with our blades that's the particular rubber that comes separately i mean this is a good it's a better than an intimate uh, a starter bat is this one because of the actual blade so um moving on to some other stuff then so that blade you can choose your rubber what it comes on um so you've got your europe df so we've got our one two three here which this is probably still our best-selling rubber the jekyll and hyde um i think this will probably by the end of the year will tip it off its scales and then we've got our ever faithful uh, europe df this what it looks like on a bat um, i don't need to weigh that it's got the rubbers already on so this is our it's just going out for fun at the moment is this particular bat but there is absolutely no comparison between our bat and something that you you pay this kind of money for let's just have a it's just i mean it's it's a throwaway bat but it's not throwaway money is it um and the weight let's just make sure we didn't get that wrong no we didn't get it wrong unfortunately so you've got 210 there let's even take these off because it's not going anywhere this bat i don't know anybody who's going to be playing with it so we've lost a gram each on those and let's just check out those what is it's 170 172 or something uh, 177 174 give or take a few grams so point of it is if you're gonna spend that kind of money get yourself a bat where you can change the rubbers um, this unfortunately it's a lot of money for something and a lot of weight for something you can't change the rubbers and then also um, we've got movement down there so you're going to get vibration down there as well we're not going to get any movement off ours anyway um, we thought we'd just do another video as another follow-up because it's it's unfortunate that people are asking us for these double you know why don't you sell double happiness or oh, they're the best brand in the world blades and rubbers don't have a problem with but made up bats not just double happiness the stegas and the butterflies make sure that you get your bat is, is custom made where the, the blade and rubbers are separate that you can see them separately um anyway enough enough on this one 
It's Steve from Custom Table Tennis. Hit the like and subscribe and get your stuff from customtabletennis.co.uk. Thank mm -hmm. you.